thanks, Daniela. And uh, Daniela is really doing some amazing work in the industry. Uh, often with clients who are just starting, we're seeing a crossing of the chasm happening. So there's some early uh, majority type companies coming in and sort of bell curve of technology adoption. And they ask, where can I get started? Where can I learn about Web3? And I always point them to Hyperledger because of the breadth of um, what the code base spans. They're leading with code versus some other communities that lead with standards. So your developers can pick it up and start using it. There's no cost to join the special interest groups or contribute. So, so it's really uh, an amazing community. Actually, seeing her talk brought me back a little bit. Um, I guess I'm going to share some perspectives on adoption, enterprise adoption, and some learning. So as part of that, I wanted to just share who I am. Um, so you can put that in context. So hopefully I can get this to work. So I actually uh, started at IBM in 2015. And we're very honored to have one of the OGs of Fabric sitting right here, Ben Wen, who is one of the original maintainers of the code base that we donated and then became Hyperledger Fabric. It was initially the, the open blockchain code. So there was a team that had come from the middleware space, and there was a strong sentiment that we should do everything in the open, and it should live in the open and be governed appropriately. Um, so thank you for your service. I know there's been so many successful projects um, the enterprises have built on that code base. So um, after two years, I... Um, Started Kaleido with uh, another gentleman who um, had helped launch IBM blockchain platform. It was a joint venture really between the cloud and enterprise systems team. And we really felt people needed um, optionality, as uh, Daniela mentioned. So we wanted to run best of breed open source that enterprises want to use. And now we're about six years in. So we work across all industries. Um, that's, I spend a minute or two just explaining what Kaleido does. So we've um, worked over the years to onboard new technology stacks. And in the beginning, there was a big divide. And I still hear it mentioned sometimes, private versus public. And, uh, you know, I feel like that's really very 2015. <laughs> Nowadays, really, there's a hybrid approach. There's a continuum of chains. And a lot of public chains are looking at scalability, performance and moving towards application specific chains. So if you think of Polygon, uh, Supernets, Avalanche subnets as examples of those. And then the private networks um, and consortium networks, a lot of those companies are seeing use cases where it makes a lot of sense to maybe work on a side chain, but some of those NFTs you might want to move out to an OpenSea or to another, um, another location that makes uh, like a gaming company to another port game in their portfolio. So we are, we love Hyperledger and we run a bunch of their code bases. <laughs> so there's a lot of layer ones, obviously, and um, just basic DLT type technologies that the actual blockchain, you know, transactions are going to happen. Um, and then we noticed over time, just running, um, run thousands of networks, there was really no open source community for all the on and off chain interactions that um, you need to plumb into a solution. And we felt that um, this is where companies were spending maybe 30 to $50 million on one use case. 